Hi everyone, video 14, Richard Birmingham and the Melbourne Studio School. So we're in the second week of our project, which began with generating uh, figurative, semi-figurative semi forms from a gestural beginning. Uh, working small, working intimately, uh, firstly with pencil, graphite, um, moving into watercolour and then into acrylic. So for this second week of the project, we're going to be moving up in scale to, um, to A1, which we've got here. Now, um, advantages and disadvantages, obviously going to use more material, so you have to be fairly generous in, in, in um, the amount of acrylic paint that you put out. This particular paper is um, 300 GSM, and it's got a fairly rough tooth. Uh, quite quite textural, so it's, re it's really nice to work on, and it resists buckling, which is a, which is you know quite important. Um, I think the particularly if you're layering. Um, so this um, these types of work for me anyway have a long gestation period. This work would have been going for probably one or two years at least. Um, I've recently brought my folio out of storage to, to relook at these and I do that you know every few months or so um, and I find that they uh, give me some you know, ideas that I can take into the larger paintings. Um, so in particular uh, this one I've, I've chosen because I you know having having had a, had time to think about it I and and to come at it with fresh eyes, I think it's probably finished. Um, the reason I'm saying that is because it's got all of the attributes that I'm looking for uh, and that we're going to be working on in this exercise. Firstly, the um, surface in the picture plane, I think that's that's there. Um, and, and what helps that is to, is to work flat and to puddle these glazes and when when they dry they seem to dry into the very substance of the paper into the tooth itself and they almost become the paper so that's 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 a really beautiful quality uh, and it reinforces the, um, the 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 surface the other thing too is that um, uh, why I think this is successful is that the at the end point I, I still have um, figurative presences um, not literal figures uh, but and also the quality of the gesture still has that very early spontaneity that we found with the watercolor and the pencil and the ink drawings of last week. Um, so, you know, to I think I think that's a quest actually, uh, probably the holy grail for the, this exercise. How can we maintain that immediacy of mark? Uh, whilst progressing the various layers of the picture. You know, that is, that is the challenge. And I think of particular artists that, that have managed to achieve that. Um, the, on the one hand, we would have Ian Fairweather, who's, who's, who we looked at in the slide presentation yesterday. Um, and also Alachinsky, the Cobra artist. Now he, he started off using oil early in his career and then he progressed to acrylic. He found that the colors were fresher. And that he could do a lot more with it. So, um, but he's really worth looking at too. He just those those paintings uh, and the freshness of his calligraphy uh, are really quite breathtaking. I think so. Um, that would be those artists would be an influence in in this type of work. Moving from A3 
which we're looking at now to to A4. Now this one I was working on yesterday not particularly happy with the color relationship so I will we'll probably continue working on it but um, I I found that you know I've, I got the figures so I was I sort of ticked that box but um, I think the color still is pretty pretty garish so I will be um, you know working more on that one I think this this one is not overtly figurative, but um, it still has sort of natural elements in it, like tree forms and um, references to urban landscape and gardens and so on. But uh, I, this this one, the subject matter really became the mark and the calligraphy itself. It's another A1 size, figures more uh, refined, I guess, in this, in this picture. Once again, the figures are there as more or less sentinels. They're not identifiable uh, as anyone in particular, which is the way I want it. And um, I want things like limbs and features to be Im embodied in, in the mark making. Uh, I want to privilege the mark, not the figure. You know, the figure's just there as a vehicle um, to carry immediacy, spontaneity, um, psychological presence. Okay, I want to talk about this uh, painting, acrylic painting. The yellow bars over the top uh, represent uh, a way of trashing, I suppose. And the, re the reason I've done that um, is because I was dis dissatisfied with the figures underneath. And you can still see residual um, parts of the figuration at the earlier stage. Now, I don't know if this painting is, will be salvageable or not, but... Um, for whatever reason, and it's 12 months or so ago now, I, I felt the figures were imposed and, um, what, and, and the way they were operating in the picture were, was not, uh, you know, it was not working as far as I was concerned. So they might have, they may have been um, clunky or too big. The scale might have been wrong, um, whatever. So... So I've put those bars over the top, and what that's doing is um, pushing the original layer back into the picture space, and um, bringing bringing and, and bringing the picture plane, I guess, or locating it to where those bars are now. And my intention will be to bring parts to reinstate parts of the earlier state in the picture over the top of those yellow bars and um, to, to both um, disappear the bars but also to integrate with the bars uh, in the hope of finding new and more interesting shapes and forms so that there's you know you want to you want to try and co-opt the earlier layers uh, into the current layer um, and um, you know, this represents really the the idea of submitting the imagery to a process of attrition if if it's not working, and you know, trashing is one of the ways of doing that. Okay, folks, I'll wrap up the video there. So, um, just to recap, we're working acrylic again. We're working on paper. Um, we're working both flat and on the wall, um, where. Um, concerned about the, the picture plane, we're concerned also about the having having the uh, spontaneity and the immediacy of the gesture still present in the final stage of the painting. 
okay um, and of course working a one size so I'll speak to you all again on Friday when we have our zoom conference okay